Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Sharjah team up to combat counterfeit car parts. UAE observes World Heart Day. And Listeria outbreak kills 13 people and infects 72 over in the US. This is Seven National News in our top story. The Economic De Development De Department of Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Sharjah have teamed up to combat the illegal trade of counterfeit car parts. At a press conference, the DED announced the huge success of a triple sweep raid on a number of auto retailers across the three Emirates. That's over the last 10 years. Although no official statistics were released, the raid results show that the most common origin of auto parts were from China, Taiwan, Turkey, Korea and Malaysia. Car manufacturer Toyota and Alpha Tame Motors were also a part of the sweep, and company officials stressed the damage counterfeit goods can do on brand image, which can put both the brand and consumer in danger. Customs at Abu Dhabi Airport have seized a thousand sedative pills at the capital's international airport. According to a local paper, the authorities intercepted a man who had arrived in from an Arab country and seized the illegal substances after searching his bags. 14 drug packs full of tramadol pills, narcotic-like pain relievers, were hidden inside his hand luggage. The passenger has been handed over to the authorities for legal procedures. As the world observes the World Heart Day today, health and medical experts in the UAE continue to encourage residents to adapt to a healthier lifestyle and avoid preventable risk factors. According to them, cardiovascular disease, diseases, or CVD, accounts for a significant number of deaths in the country annually. According to a recent survey conducted by the Dubai Health Authority with the Dubai Statistics Centre, one in five residents die of cardiovascular diseases, while one in four have preventable high-risk factors such as smoking, obesity, hypertension and high cholesterol. The study involved 5,000 households across Dubai. In addition, they say that those in the highest income group are more likely to develop preventable risk factors. The results also indicate that there is a clear link between lack of education and increase in risk of CVDs, where the prevalence among the non-educated is at 39%, nearly twice the level observed among people with university degrees and higher education. We found out overall 25% of the population of Dubai, all, all the residents of Dubai, are exposed to at least one risk factor. Either they are smokers, or they have high blood pressure, or they have high uh, level of cholesterol. And among, among, among the various age groups that we have interviewed, um, the older population, uh, age 60 and over, are at, at, at most or at the highest risk of uh, being exposed to the risk factors of cardiovascular diseases. According to the DHA, previous results revealed that only 19% of Dubai's population get significant amounts of exercise, which is essential, of course, to staying healthy. With these figures, they are looking forward to working with other authorities and organisations to roll out campaigns, as well as intervention programmes that will address and prevent the prevalence of heart diseases from rising. Adopt uh, some kind of uh, healthy lifestyles, uh, like doing exercises and you know um, consuming enough portions of fruits and vegetables, um, and cutting on, on 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 amounts of fats in, the, in their food. The call for the community to take an active part in the environmental efforts of the UAE received a boost at the launch of the reversed vending machine. According to Averda, an environmental solutions provider that's introducing the machine into the UAE, the RVM is a novel way to encourage everyone to recycle cans and plastic bottles. The company says that despite the numerous initiatives running in the country, residents still fail to contribute in recycling efforts. The RVMs hope to encourage the public to recover used cans and plastic bottles. The move aims to contribute in raising awareness about the importance of recycling in the UAE and across the region in the next coming months. In the UAE for last year, around uh, from 1 billion uh, beverage cans that were consumed in the UAE, only 360,000 actually reached the recycling bins. So that brings in an excellent opportunity for us to help the environment by doing proper dynamic recycling. 
The RVMs will be initially distributed, distributed throughout major traffic areas, such as supermarkets, gated communities and universities, beginning in Abu Dhabi and then throughout the country. After depositing the empty can or bottle into the machine, the company says a coupon will be issued by the machine, which residents can exchange or redeem at various outlets. And looking to news abroad now, U.S. health officials said on Wednesday that cases of the Listeria outbreak linked to tainted cantaloupes will rise in the next month as more people who have been infected with the bacteria begin to develop symptoms. To date, 13 people have died and 72 people have been infected in the outbreak in 18 states, including two pregnant women, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Unlike E. coli and salmonella, two common causes of foodborne diseases, Listeria bacteria can cause illness as long as two months after a person has consumed contaminated food, making these outbreaks especially vexing. Health officials have traced the source of the outbreak to cantaloupes grown by Jensen Farms in Colorado, shipped between July the 29th and September the 10th. Such outbreaks are far more common in processed meats and cheeses, and it is not yet clear how Listeria bacteria got into the fruit. And Royal Dutch Shell shut most of its half a million barrels per day Singapore refinery, sources said today, as firefighters struggle to contain a blaze that's been burning for more than a day now. The Singapore Civil Defence Force said that there has been a surge in the fire at the manufacturing facility, which started on Wednesday afternoon. The plant, the company's biggest, makes up more than a third of refinery capacity in the city-state, the world's largest market for fuel oil and Asia's hub for crude and refined products trading. Industry sources says Shell has shut two of its three crude distillation units, including the largest number five unit, with the third running at reduced rates. A Shell spokesman declined to comment on the partial shutdown of the refinery or the status of the blaze. An earlier statement said the fire had been significantly reduced and the cause of the blaze is unknown. And up next we have the day's business news, so stay with us.